GOP lawmakers today block a vote to reverse the landmark ruling from the state Supreme Court yesterday, reinstating a pre-statehood near total ban on abortion. Political editor Dennis Welch in studio, a lot on the line for both parties here. Yeah, a lot on the line for both parties and for people who live here in Arizona. Lots of questions still lingering out there. So I think it's really important to start off by reminding everyone that Monday's ruling on a near total ban on abortions won't take effect for at least another two months. So the legislature still has time to revoke the 160 year old law before it takes effect. But that's not likely going to happen for at least another week now because Republicans who control the House use procedural maneuvers today to block the vote from happening at all. Now, the high drama all started this morning when Phoenix Republican Representative Matt Gress moved to repeal the near total abortion ban. Immediately following the motion, Gress's fellow Republicans voted to recess and ultimately adjourn without a vote until next week. The GOP currently holds the slimmest of majorities in the House and the Senate, so the vote to repeal likely has enough votes to pass because it would have a lot of support from Democrats as well. Now, the support, the move uh, to block a vote from happening angered those Democrats who are now accusing the GOP of upholding one of the strictest abortion laws in the country. We believe this law is archaic, that it will directly lead to women dying or being forced to give birth against their will, to be in traumatic situations, and we cannot let this ban from the Civil War era stand. And because it won't take effect for at least a couple of months, Republican House Speaker Ben Toma told the press today there's no need to rush to for an appe repeal. Toma said it's safe to assume there'll be another attempt to repeal that territorial abortion law, but he says he's not sure what that legislative proposal would look like right now. Now, if this repeal were to pass into law as it's written right now, the state law would uh, the state would keep the current 15 week ban on abortion in place unless voters pass a likely ballot initiative in November. The 15 week ban would also uh, uh, like the current like the territorial ban does not include exceptions for rape or incest. My gosh, I mean, the whole world is watching this. This is yes. making headlines yeah. uh, on all continents right now. Um, Dennis, you know, Paul, there's so many passionate feelings about this, but politics is at play here as well. In one respect, uh, Matt Gress, who's kind of um, a more prominent Republican um, down at the state capitol, uh, he lives in a swing district, and he's a Republican who put this forward today, right? And you can see the politics at play right there uh, in the report we just had there, because Gress, as you said, he is a moderate Republican, and he is in a true swing district that could tip the balance of power yeah. in the House of Representatives. Now, you look on the other side of that at Ben Toma. You know, Ben Thomas says, oh, there's no need to rush for a repeal. Um, he's running in a competitive primary district. And a lot of people who vote in those primaries, a lot of Republicans who vote in that primary, probably like this uh, near total abortion ban as it is as it stands right now. So you can see the politics play out there. Now, larger, bigger picture, you saw several Republicans, high profile Republicans say they didn't agree with the uh, with the court's ruling. It kind of shows you that they do fear backlash at the ballot. Uh, come November because of this thing happening here right now. Yeah, yesterday you predicted this would not be an easy repeal at our, law, at our uh, capital, and that certainly seems to be um, becoming the reality. Dennis. Could shake things up for sure at the yeah. state capital. Dennis, thank you. Speaking